So I'm going to do one example of a cylinder's volume, one example of a cylinder surface area. I will do one volume and surface area of a cone, and I'll do one volume and surface area of a sphere. So um, for number one, or I'm going to be trying to find the volume of this sphere, I mean, sorry, of the cylinder. I am going to find area of the base. Okay, so this circle here is our base. And to find the area of that circle, okay, I am going to, okay, so I'm finding the area of this circle. I'm going to be taking the um, radius, which is 18, and the formula is going to be pi times radius squared. So that is going to be pi times 18 squared. And 18 squared is 324. So this is going to be 324 pi. That is the area of that top base. So for volume of a surface area, you're going to take area, I'm, I'm sorry, volume of a cylinder, you're going to take area of a base and times it with the height. So the base area is 324 pi. The height is 20. So 324 times 20 gives me 6,480 pi would be my volume. Now, if I wanted to put, do that as a decimal, um, that is going to be about 20,000, um, 20, 2357.52. And this is kilometers cubed. So for the volume of a cylinder, you're gonna take the area of the base, which happens to be a circle, and times it with the height. So it ends up being pi r squared, which is the area of the circle, times the height. That's what that volume is going to be. But again, take the area of the circle, times it by the height. On number two, um, this one, we're going to do a surface area. So for the surface area, what we're going to do is we're going to have two circles. Both of these circles are going to be the same. And then I'm going to have the rectangle, which is in between that. So the rectangle is the sides. So when I find the area of the um, circle, which are the bases, um, they gave me the diameter. So I'm going to take 38 divided by 2, and 38 divided by 2 is 19, and so that's my radius. So this is 19, this is 19. So to find the area of those, I'm going to go pi r squared. So I'm going to have pi times 19 squared, and 19 squared is 361. So that's going to be 361 pi. That's what that circle is. And that's also going to be what this circle is. So I'm going to have that twice. Now, when I'm trying to find the um, side, which is a rectangle, this circumference is the length of that rectangle. So to find the circumference, okay, circumference formula is equal to pi times diameter or 2 pi r. I'm going to use pi times diameter. So in this case, it's going to be 38 pi because my diameter is 38. So this is going to be a 38 pi. Um, my... Width of this is going to be the height of this, which is that 14. I was going to do it in a different color. 
which is that 14. So that's that. And that is going to be 14. So then to find the area of that, I'm going to take um, I'm going to take 14 times 38 pi. 14 times 38 is 532. So that's going to be 532 pi. So my um, rectangle is this 532 pi. The circles are each going to be this 362 pi, and I have it twice. So for surface area, I'm going to have 362 pi times 2, because I have two circles, plus 532 pi. And so let's see, 362 times 2 gives me 724 pi plus 532 pi for the other two circles. And I end up with 1,256 pi as my um, answer. And this is going to be uh, in uh, inches squared. Okay. And then that is about, if I work it out and enter in pi, about 3,945 point, let's say 84. That's going to be that answer. Okay, so those were dealing with cylinders. Now, when I'm dealing with um, a cone, I'm thinking of the same way I found the volume of a cylinder. Take the area of the base, which is a circle, times the height. Now, with the cones, remember, it's a third of it. So I'm going to find the area of the base. Okay, and, and this is the area of the base that I'm trying to find. Um, my diameter is 40, which means my radius is going to be 20. So the area of that circle is going to be pi times radius squared. So that's going to be pi times 20 squared or 400 pi. That's the area of this base. Then... I am going to times it by the height. Now, in this situation, the height is from here to the center of this. And it's going to come out to here like this. I need to find that value. I need to find that H. So I have a right triangle. Um, my radius was 20. I know that the slant height is that 44.7. I want to find the height. So I'm going to be doing Pythagorean theorem. So I'm going to be doing 20 squared plus h squared is equal to 44.7 squared. Okay, so in my calculator, I'm going to do 44.7 squared minus 20 squared. Okay, so let me just write. This is what I put in my calculator. And I ended up with 1,598.09. I'm going to take the square root of that. And I'm going to get a 39.97. So about a 40. Okay, so this height is about a 40. So when I'm trying to find the volume, I'm going to find the area of the base. times the height, that would be the shape as a cylinder. Remember, it took three cones to fill up the same base and same height cylinder. So I divide this by three, and that's going to give me my answer. So I am going to have 400 pi times 40 divided by three. And so 400 times 40 
divided by three is equal to 5,333.3 repeating pi. Or if I put it in my calculator, I'm going to get 16,755.16 as my answer. Now, for the surface area, the formula for surface area is going to be the following. Now, this right here is just the base. And so the area of that is going to have b pi r squared. Now, this right here is going to be broken down to to this, okay? And so I'm going to find the area of that. Now, to find the area of this, the formula is pi times radius times your lateral or slant height. So in this case, we've got pi times my radius, which is 15, times my slant height, which is a 33.5. Then for the circle, I'm going to have pi times 15 squared. That's going to be 225 pi. Let me calculate the other one. 15 times 33.5 is 502.5 pi. I'm going to add these two values together. And that's going to be the total surface area. So when I do that, I end up getting 727.5 pi or about 2,285.51 um, centimeters for squared for that answer. Okay, now for a sphere. So for a sphere, it's basically the same formula as a um, cylinder. You're going to take the area of the base times the height. And what we had for this was we had two thirds of this. So it's going to be two thirds of that. So this is going to be the base that I'm talking about. That's 15 for my diameter, which means my radius is going to be half of that, which is going to be a 7.5. So the area of this circle right here is going to be area equals pi times um, 7.5 squared. And 7.5 squared is a 56.25 pi. Then I'm going to times it by the height. Now the height of this is really the diameter so the height is 15. So I am going to find the area of the base, which is um, 500, sorry, 56.25 pi. I'm going to times it by the height, which is 15. And then we have two thirds of it. So let me take 56.25 times 15 times two thirds. I end up getting 562.5 pi. Um, and that is going to be our answer.
And again, this is going to be um, miles cubed. On number 14, when we're talking about surface area, the formula for surface area of a sphere, okay, that is the volume. The surface area is 4 pi r squared. 4 pi r squared. So, um, surface area equals 4 times pi r squared. So my radius, because my diameter is 16, my radius is going to be 8. So I'm going to have 4 pi times 8 squared. So 4 times 8 squared is 256 pi. And that would be your answer. Hopefully this helps you out.